I'm Dr Jacqueline Matlich. I'm a dermatologist. Let's talk about new baby skin. Wouldn't it be great if babies came with a set of instructions? Not all babies will experience skin conditions, but it's best to know what to look for. Let's start with mottling. Mottling is a blotchy pattern of red or pale areas on a newborn baby's skin. It's commonly seen on baby's trunk, hands and feet. It's a sign of immature circulation at the skin's surface and is usually caused by exposure to cold temperatures. It should fade with warming of the skin, but don't worry, this is a normal response to the cold and should improve in the first few weeks of life. Babies can be born with soft, sometimes dark hair covering the face, shoulders and back. It keeps the baby warm inside the womb and is usually shed before birth. This is called lanugo. There's no need for concern when it's present on a newborn as it will usually resolve over a few weeks. Within the first week or two of your newborn arriving home, you might notice the top layer of their skin is flaking off. This is completely normal now that their skin is exposed to the air. Keep up the moisturising and it will soon settle down. Now this next condition can look a little scary. Toxic erythema is a blotchy red rash which develops central pustules on the face and the body. 50% of newborns develop the condition within a day or two of birth. But don't worry, even though it looks concerning, it's harmless and usually disappears after about a week. Have you noticed small red bumps, some with a yellow head, over your newborn's face and body? This is called miliaria, also known as heat rash. It's caused by your newborn baby's immature sweat ducts that have become blocked. Remove a few layers of clothing and place baby in a cooler environment. This harmless heat rash should settle over the course of a few weeks. Milia are tiny, flat or raised white spots which occur on the face, especially the nose and the cheeks. This is very common, with half of newborns experiencing the condition due to blocked oil glands on the skin. The spots should go away within the first four weeks of life, so please don't pop or squeeze them. For some newborns, using QV Baby Moisturising Cream can help keep their skin soft and smooth. Washing with gentle hydrating cleansers and moisturisers specially developed for babies' delicate skin is key. Products recommended by paediatricians, like the QV Baby Range, are free from colour, fragrance and irritants. Let's get to the bottom of nappy rash. It can affect babies with particularly sensitive skin, even if they have frequent nappy changes, but is generally caused by exposure to a wet or dirty nappy for too long. It's best to give your baby as much nappy-free time as possible. QV Baby Barrier Cream, applied during a nappy change, can help to protect against irritation. There are a wide range of skin conditions that your baby could experience within the first few months. Many of these conditions aren't generally a cause for concern, but you should consult a healthcare professional if you feel your baby needs immediate attention or if symptoms persist.